hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP how to search records from database MySQL PHP my admin database using angular JS see here we got a new output the text box control let's search for the employee details Ali see here we got a Ali for enter C Charan R Ruby. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I just logged into my SQL PHP my admin database. Before writing the coding part to search the records, first we'll check the database and table. The table name is the EMP details, which contains three columns: employee ID, employee name, and join date. Now my aim is I want to search the records using AngularJS and PHP from this employee details. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial I'm using Notepad++. Now in this new one page I'm adding PHP code. PHP. Now in this PHP I'm adding the past dollar host name is equals to localhost dollar db name the db name is a database name our database name is sample db let's add that one sample db dollar username is root and the last one is a password and notice here the password field I left blank because I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin database if you have any password please enter that one after that I'm adding the connection variables my SQL underscore connect method this connect method takes four parameters all our strings the first one is a host name the second parameter is a username the third parameter is a password and the final one is a database name dollar db name So after adding the connection string, now I'm adding the query, which is a command text, select, start from, the table name is employee details, copy this one, paste here, dollar result is equals to my SQL underscore query method. This query method takes two parameters, the first one is a connection variable and the second one is a command text SQL query so once the query is executed I want to fetch the records from this employee details for that I'm using while loop while dollar row is equals to my SQL underscore fetch underscore array method in this array method I'm adding the dollar result dollar output is an array I'm adding dollar row after that I'm adding echo JSON encode I'm adding this dollar output variable that's it we have written the server side programming to fetch the records from this employee details table let's save this file I'm saving this file in the root folder records search angular.js.php the file name I'm saving this file name now after server side programming now I'm adding the client side script for angular.js 
for that I am adding one new one page in this new one page I am adding the HTML code I am closing the HTML header section I am closing the header section adding body tag I am closing the body tag I am adding center tag I am closing center tag h1 php search records from database mysql php my admin database using angular.js I'm adding horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding the table the border of the table is equals to 1 I'm closing the table tag tr I'm closing the tr and this tr I'm adding the table headers the table address employee id employee name and joined it let's add those columns here emp id emp name and the last one is a joined it TR and closing this TR tab. Now, before binding the data into this table using AngularJS, first we'll save the file. I'm saving this file in the same root folder. The file name I'm giving records such. The extension I'm giving htm. Save the file. So let's check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code of this HTML page. Now let's add a rows into this table using AngularJS from this employee details table. When we are implementing AngularJS, the first thing we require the latest AngularJS CDN link. Search for angular js latest cdn and from the search results i'm selecting the angular.js now in this angular.js website you can find the framework and we see angular js angular angular 2 i'm using angular js so i require the version of the cdn 1.5.11 once I select the version, now let's grab the CDN link. This is a CDN link we require, angular.min.js. Let's copy this one and paste in our header page, header tag. Script source is equals to, I'm pasting the CDN link, I'm closing the script tag. After that, I'm adding another script. I'm closing the script tag inside the script I'm adding the angular.js application variable app is equals to uh, angular dot module between double quotes I'm adding the angular application name which I'm adding after the center tag I'm adding the due tag I'm closing this due tag here the uh, in this due, I'm adding the angular direct to ng iPhone app is equals to my app is the angular application name. Let's copy this one. Plus here, comma. After that, I'm adding the controller app dot controller is a function. We run double quotes. 
I'm adding the controller name. In the same deal, I'm adding the director ng iPhone controller is equals to between double quotes my controller. Let's copy this one. Paste here, comma, function, dollar scope, comma, dollar. A second parameter is the HTTP. I'm adding a, now I'm adding a new function to fetch the records from this PHP file dollar scope dot search EMP is the object name function now in this function the first one I'm adding dollar HTTP dot get method between single calls we are getting the data from this PHP file. So let's add this PHP file page name records iPhone such iPhone AJS dot PHP file name. I'm closing this method. Once we get the records from the database, which means it's successful dot success function data. dollar scope dot get details is the object is equals to data that's it we have written the code in angular js application to fetch the records from this php file now let's bind this angular js data in the div container i'm adding ng iphone init directive I'm adding this search EMP the function name. After that, in the table, the second TR for the to display rows, in the TR I'm adding ng iPhone repeat is equals to between double quotes. I'm adding the object EMP in get details. Copy this one and paste here. Let's add the columns here, td, I'm closing the td tag, I'm adding the angular expression, now in this expression I'm adding emp, which is this object, dot, I'm adding the column names, emp id, td, I'm closing the td, EMP dot the second column name is EMP name EMP name the last one I'm closing the TD EMP dot join date that's it we have just finished with the second part to fetch the records from this PHP file into this table. Let's save this file. We'll check the output on the browser. The employee details table is binded into this table or not. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the output. The employee details table is binded into this HTML table. Now the last one to search records. Now let's add one text box control to search the employee details. Now above the table after the horizontal line I'm adding enter employee name input type is text placeholder enter employee name and the last one I'm adding in this text box control ng iPhone model is equals to ng iPhone model is an angular directive EMP is an object dot I want to search with the employee name so I'm adding this EMP name 
let's close the input text box control. So after adding the text box control, in the trng repeat, I'm adding the pipe symbol, filter, colon, I'm adding this emp object. That's it. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser and see here we got a new output, the text box control. Let's search for the employee details. Ali. See here we got a Ali. If I enter C, Charan, R, Ruby. That's it.